temper definitely heated in downtown Portland overnight. Protesters upset about the presidential election results and the fact that Donald Trump will be in the White House come January. And Brent Weisberg has more on how the protesters shut down a busy highway overnight. Brent? Good morning. The protest ended about an hour ago at Portland State University in southwest Portland. This morning, we can tell you that all of the roads, even the freeways that were shut down as a result of this protest, have since reopened. Take a look at your television screen and you can see some of the video from this protest as it unfolded. The protest started around 1130 in downtown Portland. Portland police say that the group, made up mostly of young adults, made their way through downtown Portland. We are told that there were some reports of minor property damage, including a dumpster fire and some new newspaper stands that were tossed into the street in downtown Portland. The group, at one point, as large as 350 people, according to Portland police, took over northbound I-5 near the Morrison Bridge. It forced the Bureau and ODOT to shut down I-5 for about an hour. Eventually, the group weaved its way into the Pearl District before ending up at Portland State University. That's where we talked to some of the protesters about their reaction to last night's election. We're pretty angry, but it's nice to see, you know, the community getting together and standing up to it. I think what's most important is that there are a lot of uh, different minority groups of the community that feel abandoned at this point by their country. This morning, we have confirmed that there was a report that the Portland Police Bureau took indicating that some of the protesters, while on I-5, actually picked up some of the police flares and threw them at passing vehicles. There was no report of any major property damage as a result of that. The Portland Police Bureau says they are ready for any other protests that may pop up, but they say they hope those protests remain peaceful. Reporting live, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin6 News. Thanks, Brent. We understand that there may be some plans for protests later on this afternoon, so we'll follow that as well. well